Okay, so as Coach Cook said, um, my name is Brinkley Golf. I'm a fifth year senior at University of Mobile. Uh, I'm also a pitcher. Uh, thank you to the SSIC for this opportunity um, to Coach Cook. Um, I don't want to use this opportunity to thank everyone for my personal athletic career. That list goes on forever, and my words will fail me if I try to express my gratitude for them. But instead, I think I want to use this opportunity to challenge each athlete and coach in the room today. When I was asked to speak, um, I was very reluctant. Not because I didn't appreciate the opportunity or recognize the honor that this is, but because I had the thought, I don't have the words to say to these women in this room. I don't, I don't speak. I pitch. I know how to compete. I know how to be a good teammate. But I don't know how to say something that everyone in this room will find worth listening to. I almost let that thought win, and I almost walked right back to Coach Cook and said, thank you, but no thank you. Give it to someone else, someone who can speak more eloquently than I can, and someone who has something more important to say. But then something clicked for me later on. I was in the middle of a pitching lesson with my nine-year-old cousin. Her name is Maddie. Maddie stopped and looked at me mid-drill and said, would you still choose to pitch if you could go back to when you were my age? Humbled by the depth of the question coming from a nine-year-old, I immediately responded and said, can we focus on the drill? But the question stuck with me. If I could go back to the beginning, what would I change? Like everyone else in the room would, I started reflecting on my time on the field, in individual practices, those mountaintop games, and the really, really bitter losses. I reflected on the hours spent on the road with my parents, with different teammates, and even just the days in the backyard where it was just me and a ball. For every athlete, I'm sure you look back on different moments with joy and others some with regret. For me, those moments repeated thoughts like, if I had just hit that first pitch, or celebrating a walk-off home run in a championship game. Other times I was critiquing my form and thought, if I hadn't missed my spot on that pitch, or even having the ability to celebrate more than 10 strikeouts in a game. All of those moments replayed over and over again. It was things like competing in a state championship in a high school game, getting the opportunity to play college softball in the first place, losing a season due to COVID, getting the opportunity to break school records, qualify for a national tournament, and even losing a national championship game. Tons of emotions were felt, but the most prominent ones didn't seem to be tied to my individual athletic performance, my ERA, my win-loss record, or even the result at the end of an individual game. But instead, I remember the people who fought beside me in those games, all the time spent developing those relationships and the love that I shared with everybody involved. My entire life reflects the gifts that softball has given me, the people I've met, the lessons I've learned, the, character the characteristics that I've developed since then. But none of those things that matter most to me have a statistic beside them. As a fifth year senior, the fact that my time is coming to an end is very present, just like many of us in the room. There will be a last bus ride. There will be a last time for game day here, a last warm up, a last opportunity to play, a last pitch, and even a last game. For many of us, that very well could be this week. This is where my challenge to you comes into play, coaches and players alike. Worry about the things that matter. My answer to Maddie's question goes beyond just pitching. And what I hope you hear me say today goes beyond just a game. If I could go back to when I was nine, I would tell Maddie that I would still choose to pitch. But more importantly, I'd choose to be present in every single moment. I wouldn't let a single practice go by without reminding myself what a blessing it is to be on that field with those girls at that time. I'd sit and just listen to the seemingly pointless conversations on a five-hour long bus ride. I'd be thankful for the physical challenges my body would face as an athlete and that I'd have the opportunity to overcome. I'd utilize the fact that I spend countless hours every week with my collegiate softball team to build others up and instill in them who they are to me and what they mean to me. I'd go back and make sure that my impact meant something to the Lord and something that would glorify his name and not mine. I would appreciate this game for all that it is and the ability to compete for something bigger than myself. The things that I would go back and change have nothing to do with stats, nothing to do with my performance, not even those individual games. The only thing I would change is my ability to be in that moment that softball has given me. So, seniors, fifth years, we have a few more of those moments guaranteed this week. Are you going to choose to be present or are you gonna miss it? And underclassmen, you have a gift the rest of us don't have. You have more time. Ask yourself the same question I've been asking myself this entire season. What would you change? Very soon, you will be standing where I am, a lot of softball days in your rear view, uncertain of how many days are ahead, 
Don't put yourself in the position to say that you have the same regrets I do. This game is too precious. We are too lucky to have been given this opportunity to waste it. Be present for however long you decide to keep playing. You will never look back and regret being fully where you are. Because in this sport, those moments don't last forever. They're not meant to. Don't miss them while you have them. Uh, and thank you.